this. The house is officially being tented. I'm inside. I hope they didn't forget. I'm kind of freaking out to go. They came like hours earlier than I thought they were. I had all these calls scheduled. I'm trying to like run out the door. Um, we are going on a little solo adventure to a cabin. Let's go. Goodbye house, I'll miss you. Oh, be okay baby girl. It is so freaking cute. I will show you the full outside when I can be bothered to walk. I think we might take a little walk tonight and then I'll do that then, but I'm gonna show you. Um, there's so much like wood that's been chopped. Like this is legitimately cabin life. Um, this is Spooky. Jimmy, hi. Say hi, Spooky. How cute is this little cabin? I'm going to put the link in the description, but look at the fireplace. It's just so charming and cozy. Rachel's here working. Um, we're going to be shooting a little campaign for Lunia, washable silk, which I love. So I started like undoing things to kind of unbox them. We brought stuff just to make dinner. Um, we're going to grill out in the back. Let's show you the little back area and then i'll show you the upstairs before we completely to ratchet so many cute little details here i just really love all of the little interesting objects how cute is this bench really really good artwork um I'm, these little mirrors are just the cutest hi do you want to come with me spooky so just a cute little bathroom but i thought i would show you guys the upstairs because i'm very excited to sleep in this little like fun roof situation you can come pop Come on. How cute is she? Um, so Rachel's gonna sleep in here. This is actually the little writer's room I think she labeled it as, and I have some writing to do. And there's like yoga mats. So I plan to do my little wellness stuff here. Rachel and I met today, she's gonna stay the night and then go back tomorrow. And then I'm gonna have like a little solo staycation moment, try to get like creatively reset. Um, do some writing, some stretching, some hiking and yeah just kind of reset love that there's a record player here i'm definitely gonna play some records and here is my room where i'm gonna be sleeping it's really cute i love the ceiling it's getting dark here so hopefully you guys can see it but i just love all the little charming details it's really cute little lamps artwork and just how beautiful is it gonna be to wake up to a little forest so cute we're gonna grill out our little veggie burgers um, depending on the time, we might take a little walk to the lake tonight and take Spooky on a little walk. Is she still down here? Oh, there you are. She's literally right here. She's so cute. Just took these hot, hot bad boys off the grill. So we're doing gluten-free buns because Rachel's gluten-free. And we did veggie burgers just because I really like them. I'm not vegan per se. Um, but we even have um, veggie cheese, like um, vegan cheese, which I haven't tried on a burger. Well, I guess I did like a long time ago. Anyway, they were charred to perfection, but we're making fries too and the timing didn't turn out. So I'm gonna like take these off. But my secret to the most delicious homemade burgers, which isn't really a secret, okay? But whatever. I put a little bit of ghee on the buns and then I'm just gonna toast them on the grill. And you don't need to do them very long, but this is the difference between like a burger that's like good and a burger that's great. Okay, let's see how the the buns are doing. Oh, they're getting a little. Well, no, they're fine. I'm gonna flip them. Oh, and I really wanted to get grill marks. Ah, okay, come on, you can do this. You can do this. I turned them way down, maybe two down. No, this one doesn't even have marks yet. Okay, whatever. We're gonna turn it up a tiny, and then we're also gonna put the burgers back on the grill, and then we're gonna put the cheese on the burgers so it hopefully melts. But I don't know, does fake cheese melt? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Is this a salsa? Is this a salsa? Hopefully it won't like melt into the grill and ruin everyone's lives. But knowing my luck. By the way, don't attempt this at home. You should be using a tool. I just couldn't find a tong or a spatula or anything. See, this one is perfect. They all need to look like that. Can't handle these buns. They smell so good. Now I need this cheese to cooperate. It's starting to sweat around the edges, which I'm seeing as a good sign. Vegan cheese don't melt, melt. It sweats. I'd like to see a, I can't any further. You know where I was going with that. I mean, kinda, kinda. Cooking good looking. Woo, woo. This looks unreal. We're also gonna have LaCroix mocktails. <laughs> There's a pickle and a pound. I've never tried this and I have been wanting to. It is a non-alcoholic like cocktail. And the branding, I'm trying to like, I need to find some, a natural source of light so you can fully see the splendor of this. Look at this. It's like matte here and shiny here. It's like UV coated. Put on this 
metal can. It's just another level. How do you call it? Gia? Gaia? Yeah. Ah. It is so cute. I'm obsessed. I'm looking at my nails. Okay, thanks. Bye. Good early morning from the cabin. We are making coffee here. Rachel's is just slowly waking up. I got up and did my makeup because we're shooting a campaign today um, here. And it's just like the light hasn't quite come in, but I can tell it's going to be a beautiful day. And so we're I'm making coffee. So when she wakes up, she has coffee. And we're going to go to the lake. Um, and take a little look around. And last night I steamed all of my really cute pajamas. I'm shooting a TikTok for Lunia. I've shot some for them before. And so they asked me to do a few more, which I'm happy because I love their stuff. I'm a huge fan. Um, so I actually might do like a Lunia haul for you guys. Just trying on some of their washable silk pajamas and stuff. But this is what chaos looks like for me. <laughs> anywhere I go. I bring the chaos with me. JK. Um, but so after this morning, we're going to shoot a little bit and then Rachel's heading home and then my little retreat uh, commences. So I have a little cup of cacao here. I am making coffee. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to like a couple really quiet days. Just getting some work done today and then um, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to do my little yoga in the morning and take a walk in the woods. In case you were wondering, Spooky and I are best friends now. <laughs> um, but I thought I'd do a fit check because I'm kind of obsessed. So we're going to go to the lake and check it out um, and just uh, do a tiny bit of exploring. And then we're going to come back here and shoot some stuff. It's set and chunk. Oh, I'm wearing uh, this little Lumia set. So it's like nice, soft. There's got to be a better. Oh my God, the microwave's higher. Hi. Um, it's like terry cloths can you see the softness i'm obsessed also look at this mug it matches my nails and i felt like it was really important that we notice this like what a mom oh my gosh i also have pajamas that match this stay here look look at moments on moments on moments on moments i'm just like but just enough oh yeah back to my fit check so i'm wearing these like terry cloth shorts they're super cute um yeah into it all right we're going out to explore um rachel and i shot this morning and then she left and it's just me now so i just got in the car we're starting it don't worry i'm not gonna vlog and drive but um i am gonna drive to lake arrowhead which is about a 15 minute ish drive according to what i'm looking at and gonna have lunch uh, on the lake why not they have a little like um lakefront place where you can eat and then there's a little um malt shop maybe we'll get like a little treat after i'm reading the i brought the little manual with me <laughs> hope that's allowed and yeah there's also um little shopping areas so there's some spots in arrowhead and i'm excited so there's another area crestline um and the Glen are supposed to have antique stores um, all sorts of other little cute things. So I think I'm going to start and eat because I'm so hungry. Probably grab something to grill for dinner. And then I think maybe we'll go shopping. Duh, of course, leave it to me to come to a cabin <laughs> retreat in nature and go shopping. But it's fine. We have to run out for a little bit just to get some provisions. Then I have a mastermind group tonight. And I'll probably take like a little walk. Um, and then tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up early. I've got a meeting, a really exciting meeting in the morning. Um, but before that, I'm going to try to get up early and do some journaling, yoga, meditation, you know, my little, little jam. I'll definitely grab some stuff. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to have my meeting. And then I will go to breakfast. There's really cute little coffee shops and breakfast spots. So then I'll probably go do that. Um, yeah, I'm excited to just see what happens and not have a plan. It's kind of nice. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but there was a model train store. It was closed, kind of sad, but look how beautiful the lake is. There's also an antique store. We're gonna have some fun today. Okay, they have narrated tours of Lake Arrowhead. I definitely need to bring Sparky back here for a little romantic cabin weekend. Balanced meal here. 
right? We've been having such a fun little solo date day. Um, Stater Brothers haul. I just went to Stater Brothers. I have never been to a Stater Brothers. Is that a thing where you live? They have them obviously in California. I've just never been to one. Also, this thing's broken, so don't mind it. Everything in my car is broken. If I, I'm gonna give you a tour of everything that's broken in my car, okay? First of all, the outside handle to get in, broken. Back hatch to open the trunk, broken. Um, both of these air conditioner thingamabobs, broken. This guy, broken. This guy, broken. This guy, broken. You know, but she drives fine. I own her free and clear. This is the first car that I ever purchased completely on my own. Um, I moved out to California with a car that like I had a car in Nebraska and then I traded it in for a different car when I moved here um, but like I had gotten help from my parents on those cars and then when I moved here I got a lease and then I got another lease and then I bought this car and it's the first car that I've bought and completely paid off so we love her she's a little Fiat her name is Fiona the Fiat and yeah we are appreciative of her we love her she's really dirty and I need to clean her which isn't kind of me but she's kept us safe we're grateful for her, but she's got some idiots. She's got a lot of panels falling off. Does anyone else have a Fiat? I know they call them fix it again, Tonys. Whatever. I didn't believe it when I just thought it was so cute. I didn't care. You know, it's gotten me around safely and I'm grateful for it. I will say it is falling to pieces, but anyway, that, that is neither here nor there. I'm going off on one of my tangents. Let's continue the Stater Brothers haul. So I decided since I'm cooking myself dinner tonight, so I am in this beautiful group of women. So it's kind of like a mastermind thing. This is my second round, um, but I don't know if you guys are familiar with Yellowco. I'll put their Instagram in the description, but it's a uh, yellowco.co and their Yellowco on yellow.co, I think on Instagram. And it's um, an organization I've been involved with since 2014. I used to go to the conferences. I helped plan the conferences. I designed the conferences. I've emceed the conferences, spoken, mentored at the conferences. Like I've been involved in a lot of different ways, but it's transformed into kind of like a women, a collective for women that want to do good in the world through their work um, and just be agents of good in the world and yeah so they do these like um, intentional guidance groups is what they're called guidance groups and they have them for different sectors so I'm in the creative group this is my second round and we meet every other Wednesday for six weeks and it's a really really cool format um, you talk look how I got off on a tangent again but the, I have a reason this one's circling back um, so yeah it's like I want to say like four to six women uh, I think it's, I think it's been five and five to six. I think it's been six since I've been anyway. Um, and you get to share a celebration every week. You have to share something that you're celebrating, which I think is really important to celebrate more. It's been something that has been on my radar a lot. And then the other things that we do, um, we also, uh, just talk about how we're showing up. We open with a little guided meditation and just hold space. So like, if you've had a crazy busy day, you can take that two minutes to like, get up and get a snack or go to the bathroom or do whatever. Um, so it's just a cool space to intentionally uh, slow down, connect with other people. And then the point of it is, is peer to peer mentoring. So you come to the group with a challenge. Um, so you do an update from your last week, like you make a commitment that you wanted to do by the next time so the accountability is really great and then after you do that then you get to share something that's challenging you that you'd like advice or help or feedback on and then you get to share that and then people get to ask you questions about it to further clarify for six minutes and then six minutes after that people can give advice and then you can connect with people in the group there's a retreat in October I can't wait to go to and I've actually become really good uh, friends with a couple of the women in the group and yeah, we, our businesses are kind of synergistic and I just really value their advice. Um, one has become someone that I go to for regular um, advice and just checking in and yeah, it's been a really cool experience. So if you are looking to connect with other people and make moves on something you've been doing, I've got a couple resources for you. Number one, check out Yellow Co Guidance Groups. I don't think they're open now, but they will be opening again, I probably in the fall. And like I said, this is my second round. It's amazing. I think it's like $375 for the quarter. 
Um, so yeah, it's quarterly and you also get all kinds of great, like they have co-working times, they have, um, other resources all included in that same amount. But one of the things is a guidance group and I just, it's been really meaningful for me personally. Uh, I love it. And then the other thing I was going to say is that I'm also working with Unshackled Wines right now. And if you go to my Instagram, it's Alex Michael May. If you don't follow me there, they are doing a contest where if you sh you share your creative side hustle or your project or your idea and one person gets $75,000 to use towards that project, like it's like a, and it's a contest. Anyway, so I get to help judge that and I'm really excited. One of the things I'm really working on intentionally calling in is partnerships that feel really aligned with me and my values and where I want to go and really exciting things. I have a really exciting meeting tomorrow, which I'm not ready to share about just yet, but I hopefully will be able to share about that sometime soon. Um, but it's something I've been wanting for a really long time and I'm hoping that it goes well. And then, yeah, I just feel like the guidance groups have helped me intentionally call in things I really, really want. Like I've started with a new bookkeeper and an accountant. And I'm getting my finances in order. We're hoping to bring Emily back. Uh, she's been, she was interning for me and helping assist me. And now we're wanting to bring her in to be an actual uh actually be a part of the team for real for real so that's really exciting what else there's just so many exciting things i feel like in the works but yeah so one of the things i wanted to call them is more intentional partnerships and this one with unshackled felt perfect because they are giving away seventy five thousand dollars to one person to help fund their dream because they recognize me as someone who's gone out on a limb to try to pursue my dream which is a whole nother story in and of itself but i did take the leap many moons ago and I've continued to take the leap ever since. So it's just something that's really near and dear to my heart. And yeah, just thought I would share those two things. But the reason I'm telling you all this is because since we have the guidance group, um, we're going to head home now. There's some really cute like vintage stores and stuff. Like I said, I wanted to check out one I wanted to go to is clothes. So I made a whole little plan tomorrow. I'm going to go have breakfast at this really cute coffee shop and, um, go check out some of the shops and stuff before, um, I leave. So that's my plan for tomorrow. Anyway, so you're coming shopping with me. Duh. So I got water cause duh, uh, we need to hydrate. I'm so thirsty right now. Oh, I'm going to pour some in my water cup right now. Also, if you don't have one of these simple modern water cups, this is from Amazon. I can link it. I am obsessed. I have multiple. It's one of my favorite things. Oh my God, there's still ice in it. Hold on. We're going to add water right now because this is really important. Also, hope this battery lasts. <laughs> I don't know if I have another. I don't know if I brought my charger with me. So I hope that we all get to enjoy the rest of this trip together, huh? Also, I've been weird. Ah! I spilled water. Ah! Oh my God, my entire lap is wet. Help, I hate it. <laughs> it is hot out, but it definitely looks like I peed my pants. Like, this is so bad, but it's fine, it's fine. I need to be more responsible or something. Help, what's going on? Okay, I'm so scared it's gonna spill over my lap again. We need to hydrate. Um, if you're watching this video and um, you have water near you, or if you don't even, okay, it's time to hydrate. So take this as your not so gentle reminder that it's a hydration break. Right now, you hear me? Hydrate now. Now, if you're watching this, I want you to comment below and say, I'm hydrating. I want you to, I want the accountability for us all, okay? <gasps> and then I filled it too full and I just twisted it and it came over. Okay, we're gonna do our Stater Brothers haul. I know I need to get home because now I have like cold groceries in here, but I'm just really invested in this. I'm committed. Ah, so I thought that um, all that to say during my, my plan is to get back to the house. We're gonna make a steak on the grill because I love grilling. Okay, so I got a ribeye. Sparky's gotten me into ribeyes. I thought I was a filet mignon girl. We're not, we're not. Now we're ribeye girls. And it's not like runaway bride where she likes her eggs different ways and it's just because of him. No, I realize they are tender. I thought that, I thought I knew what I knew. I'm learning. Asparagus, love this with just some olive oil, salt and pepper. Totally forgot I bought these mushrooms. Thought they'd be a nice accoutrement. Uh, I got one heirloom tomato just cause it was pretty and soft and I really love slicing tomato which just, and like if you sprinkle a little salt on it, it really brings out the juices. And if you get a good one, you don't really need anything else with it, but it's a bomb mistake. Uh, I got one banana because tomorrow I'm trying to plan my meals. So, oh, this is something, this is a big update. I started with a nutritionist like two weeks ago. And when we get back to the house, um, I will probably do maybe actually, no, I think I'll do like a separate body update video because it's a whole thing. Uh, anyway, I've been having some of like my body stuff come up again. And you know, that's something that I talk about here. Um, but I'll get it more in depth. But anyway, one of my homework from her was to plan three days of meals. So 
so yesterday I had planned because of Rachel and I, but it was like a half a plan, but whatever I'm doing, I'm trying to accept that done is better than perfect and progress over perfection. So tomorrow morning, I know that I have an early morning call, like I said, so I wanted to have something easy for breakfast because she, one of the things she wants me to do is to eat within 30 minutes of waking up. So I'm going to make toast with almond butter, honey, and banana for breakfast with a little coffee. And then I'll have a bigger breakfast when I go to the coffee shop and like go do my little shop runs. Um, and then I got these back to dinner because we love to jump around here. And if you can follow along points to you, got these little baby potatoes. So for dinner, we have asparagus, tomato, potato, or steak. So I was going to do a salad, but I'm like, mm, why don't we just do something else? And yeah, a little bit of mushrooms. It's going to be so good. I'm really excited. I love cooking for myself and I haven't cooked like a proper dinner for myself from like scratch. I know this is just grilling steak, but even that it's been a big deal. I feel like I've been ordering out a ton or eating really convenient foods. So one of the things that Sparky and I want to start doing is ordering those meal services where you cook it at home and then meal planning a couple of the other days. Um, and even like meal prepping. So there's going to be some overhauls in the food department just cause I haven't been properly fueling myself and I definitely have been feeling it. So more on that later. Let's drive home. I think I might take a little walk before the group. And then during the group, I'm probably going to have to like grill during, let me think, the group ends at 8.30. No, I'll probably be able to like have dinner at 8.30 and hang out. Anyway, let's hit the road. I really wish I could show you guys how beautiful it is driving. I think tomorrow maybe I'll stop and take some like scenic footage because I want to be safe. I actually put my camera on the dash earlier and it was not like it was sliding and I like I thought I had it secured. I should get a little mount. But anyway, we're going to be safe. Safety over everything else. So I'm not bringing you on my drive, but I'll see you later. Okay, I was driving and I found this freaking perfect little A-frame. And it said that it has like fine linens, home stuff. Like it looks unreal. Let's go check out this little treasure trove. <gasps> Just look at it. Fine linens. I am in. This looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Especially since we're doing the back house. There's so much going on. Oh my god, this mirror is everything. Oh my god, look at this light fixture. Oh, glassware. There are three levels. This door is absolute heaven. I found a sofa I want. This isn't even it. This curved one though is sick. There's a really beautiful like white blue clay one downstairs that has like wood trim. So I'm not loving my new sofa, unfortunately. I love these round pillows. These are so cool. I think I need to get that one. Oh my God, just so many good books. Well, I was driving and I accidentally found another cute store. Pretty. I just had to pull off the road and see this view. Oh, there was just this spot you could pull over. You can see all the mountains here. And then there's like the ridge line here of all the trees with the other side of the mountain. And it's just me and my other car. I don't know if anyone's in there or not. Kind of scary, but I just had to stop because it's so pretty here and I'm happy. Changed into a little um, workout outfit. Put on the sneakers and I'm gonna go for a little walk while there's still light and then I'm gonna come back and grill. I'm sweaty. That was the first time I've been on a walk in a long time without my phone, which I realize in hindsight probably was the safest, but it's a pretty quiet neighborhood. My phone was dying. So I didn't have a podcast. I didn't have anything to like look at. I literally was just like in nature. Like there's a lot of people in houses and stuff like that, but there was a beautiful sunset. There were so many cool houses. There were so many birds and, and sounds. Like, can you hear it? It's like cicadas or crickets or something. The air smells like mountain. It's really nice. But I realize, I don't know, I think I have a little bit of like fear of being alone tonight. I'm used to being alone at my house. Like, you know, quarantining alone was a doozy. But yeah, there's something about being out of my element in a place I don't know that feels kind of scary and dark and ominous. But I'm gonna see if there's stars out tonight and we're gonna get dinner fired up. So let's get the food out of the fridge. Get this party started, because I'm very hungry now. Just gonna let steak rest a bit. We're gonna prep our asparagus. I actually taught Sparky this, because he didn't know it, and I'm sure all of you know this, but this blew my mind. Um, that if you, instead of like having to trim all the asparagus, you just feel to the point where it snaps naturally, 
and that's like the best ripest part. So I'm just gonna wash and snap all these. My camera died, but I grilled dinner and it looks fabulous. I'm doing this paper towel, it's kind of ruining the mood, but I grilled a bone-in ribeye because she fancy. And then I did some potatoes and asparagus, like I promised, and it's just looking so good. I just had the most incredible meeting. Um, I just think it's so cool when you feel like you're working with people that genuinely are really passionate about what they do. I feel like I've just been in so many meetings where it's like, okay, great, do you have any questions? And it's just like, so when there's nothing wrong with that, obviously like we all have to get business done, but this was different. This was different. It was like each person was like expressing the fullness of who they were and how it like translated to the projects that we'd be working on together. I've been wearing these Lunia like stretchy, cozy underwear. Like they're like shorts with, I was wearing their little matching tank bralette, but then I switched into my sports bra because I went for a little walk. Um, but I've been living in this <laughs> shirt and I thought I'd make breakfast, but yeah, I just was going to like deconstruct how incredible that meeting was. I feel honored for the chance to get to possibly work with this team that I might be working with to bring this really exciting vision to life. And after the meeting, first of all, my sign is like a feather. And whenever I was on the meeting, I saw on the front porch, cause obviously I'm here at this beautiful cabin, this feather like gently dropped to the ground. And I feel like I've just been trying to stay present and be open to all of the alignments and the synchronicities and like all the little signs. Like I believe in that stuff. I don't really believe that, you know, ish just happens. Like I feel like there is a greater purpose to things. And if you have been watching my channel for a while, like I'm sure that that messaging comes across. Let's grab bread. We're going to grab bread from the fridge right now. Um, and I feel like if we allow space, for those things to come through um, and we just stay in the present moment that we can really witness a lot of that and and for me I look to those things for reassurance that I'm on the right path like I always question what I do and I really want everything I do to have meaning and to be I guess in the greatest and best interest of everyone involved not just for myself for the whole world. And I know that sounds silly, but if you guys ever been in like a pool and like something will fall in the pool on the other end and the ripples will carry across the entire pool, like a bug will get in the water and it'll be swimming and trying to get out and you will see those ripples on the other side of the pool. So for me, I really believe that we are all connected and that, you know, little things that we do can have impact in ways we can never imagine. So I think it was really meaningful to, to feel like that this thing I've dreamt about for years and years and years that I kind of almost was like, well, I, there have been times recently where I've been really burned out and I've also been thinking maybe all this is in my mind that I think I'm supposed to do these things. Maybe, maybe these were dreams that I had a long time ago that aren't necessarily pertinent anymore or... Maybe, maybe I got too big for my britches and this isn't really my calling or this isn't possible for me. And today was just like a tiny reassurance that like, no, like timing is everything. And I might've gotten some of these ideas years and years ago, but maybe they just weren't ready to come to fruition. And I've been fully forming the human being that I am to this point to be ready to bring this dream to life. So I just wanted to say that I felt really called to say that in case any of you have had like a big dream, no matter what it is, right? Um, I know we all have so many different dreams and things we want to happen and it can feel very discouraging and frustrating when they don't come the way we want them to. But I just wanted to say, if you feel in your heart like you're supposed to do something, trust that feeling and just be open for guidance and open for timing different than you thought and, and it coming about in weird ways. You know, I think if something really is in your heart that you want to do it, it will find its way to you. And that's not like, oh, I've always wanted a white Jeep. Like sometimes that's like that stuff comes to us too, a hundred percent. But I think when it comes to like deeper, like life purpose, things we want to achieve, accomplish, do that sometimes we get a vision for that thing well before it's ready to come to life. So that's something I'm 
working on is sitting in the discomfort, practicing patience. I'm not very good at it, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> um, but this morning for breakfast, <laughs> let's switch gears. Um, I'm making just like a quick breakfast before I hit the road. I'm heading back to LA today. I'm so sad to leave. Um, I'm so hungry. So my meeting was supposed to be like 30 minutes and it was an hour and 40. So I'm just going to make a quick breakfast and then I'm going to do my yoga on the patio, do a little like breath work, clean the Airbnb up and head out of town. I think I'm going to swing by a cute little coffee shop and then head back to LA to check on the house and get everything in order there. But for breakfast this morning, as I said, I've been working with a nutritionist. And I'm going to do a separate video about that, but she was like toast with like a nut butter and banana or honey or something like that is like a good pre-workout one. And so even though I'm not working out right now, I'm just gonna have it anyway. I realized I've been living in fear of certain foods. Like, oh, I'm not allowed to have white bread or like just like things that are really, oh, I burned my toast. I'm so chatty. I need to stop chatting. Do this more. Whoop. No, it's like a perfect golden brown. This is Dave's killer, um, not Dave's, this is Ezekiel bread. And then since I was at the store and I didn't want to have a lot of leftovers, I just got this packet of Justin's almond butter. And this one has um, six grams of protein. I think they all do. I didn't know if it had added protein. It doesn't. So um, I'm just going to spread this on here and I'm going to slice up this one single little banana that I got. Oh boy, I hope she's okay. I wanted to find the most ripe one. They were all like almost green except for this one. And I'm, it's funny. I'm not actually a huge banana person. Ooh, she's got a little, little funky part. It's all right. I have funky parts too. Maha. Um, I just washed all of these dishes. Now I'm going to do them again. That's life. Yeah, wash them. Yeah, do them again. Let's cut this banana up here. Sure, I could do this on a cutting board. But I think thin slices are the key for it being delicious. And no, I'm not pretending to be some TikTok chef. So don't come for me with my bad cutting because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to spread this and make this little breakfast. We're going to enjoy it on the back. And then we're going to do some yoga, some breath work, clean up and leave. And I just feel like I put pressure on myself, even for this little like trip to be like a spiritual journey and like do all of this, like thinking and reading and writing. And like in reality... I beat Mario 3 on Nintendo Switch, which was not only a victory, but something I'm mourning because, like, I just got my Switch and I don't think I was ready to, like, beat that already. Ooh, I do feel like we should have put some ghee on here. Ghee's going to make the difference. But honestly, just having fun and being, like, having a little alone time. Like, voice memo with um, some friends last night. And I'm like, you know what? Not everything has to be, like, I put so much pressure on myself that even my free time is supposedly supposed to be productive do you know what I mean like even the time that I'm not working that's supposed to be like my fun free time I'm like oh I'm not allowed to just like binge a series for no reason like no it has to be like research or I should be reading like a book to better myself like I really feel like at all times I should be bettering myself or doing it's like where's the fun in life I really I think that's why I love being with Sparky is because he just brings out a side of me of just like free carefree and fun and we love exploring and just like cooking together at home and like he's taught me the the art of leisure I feel like yeah it's just something that's been missing for my life for a while okay can we talk about how she did turn out really pretty she did I want honey on top so I bought this little tiny jar of honey from home that also is going to be perfect in the Greek little um vegan Greek yogurt I brought for a snack before I leave. I just am trying to fuel myself better. Like I was going all day without eating and then I would eat things that weren't nutritiously sound or that like I couldn't compensate for a whole day of essentially depriving my body of what it needs. So more on the nutrition stuff later, like I said, but anyway, I'm gonna finish this toast and I'll show you how it turns out. For some reason, I just felt like we should experience this moment together. Ooh, <gasps> yeah, yeah. Not me crying, not me looking at the forest and crying actual tears. <laughs> it's just so beautiful here. I was wanting to rush back to LA. I had to figure out the key, my house and the tenting. And I just wanted to stay here and do my yoga and chill out and just have spaciousness. And it just doesn't feel like we ever get to have that anymore. Am I right? 
everything is so rushed. You need it yesterday. Like you're going to miss out FOMO. Like there's so many layers to it. And I think what I'm feeling after that meeting this morning, what I'm feeling just like being here now, whew, just being able to exhale, like just being able to like, just be myself and give myself permission to be imperfect and give myself permission to figure it out. Like I don't have to have it all done now. I don't have to be perfect. This video doesn't have to be shot on the best camera. Like I don't have to have something planned and presented and wrapped up in a neat little bow for you guys. Like this is just real life and I'm processing it one day at a time. And there's an immense amount of change happening. And I've never been good with change. I'm feeling really emotional about Sparky moving in and taking over the back house and like this big project I'm talking about and like so many things happening and while I'm so excited it's still like sometimes we need time to integrate like we need time to integrate the old version of ourself that we're leaving behind and like the beautiful new version that's coming and that can all coexist I think for me I've spent so this last couple of years like really building myself up and creating a home that felt safe for me and it's a big deal to let someone into that when every other time I've let someone into that, it's been heartbreaking. And I've t it's taken me years to pick myself back up from that. So this is different. He's different. I'm ready. I love him. I'm excited. But it's bringing up a lot of emotions right now. And so is even just getting to show up here for you guys, this real and this raw. Like, I don't do that on any other social media platform. Like, I don't feel, I feel like I'm really honest and real, you know, on stories sometimes. And I have been on TikTok a time or two. But I think what's so special about this space here is that, yeah, like this was created with no, with me not worrying that brands were watching or that like people who had known me forever were watching like I just got to show up here and be me and I hope this is a space where you guys can just show up and give yourself space and time like whether you're watching this video but it's giving you you know permission to take steps in your own life to show up as your realest self to celebrate all the things you're moving through to create time and spaciousness and give yourself permission to feel things to to you know not be okay with with things people are saying to you or doing to you like there's so many ways it could translate for you but I'm grateful for you all and yeah I don't know I just had a very emotional moment there and that's okay too like I don't feel like we need to live in this world where we have to feel ashamed of our emotions after we feel that and like um Brene Brown talks about a vulnerability hangover that once you're vulnerable it's like such a tough come down because you don't know how it's going to be received and you've essentially trusted people with the most delicate defenseless part of yourself and I'm just throwing it out on the internet you know and it's like people could make fun of me for being emotional or um say I'm a wreck and don't have my life together and why are you walking around half naked in a cabin <laughs> I don't know, but I just hope whatever that means for you to show up as yourself and just give yourself permission to exhale from all the expectations that are put on you every day, from all of the pressures that are put on you every day, not only from the outside world, but from yourself. Because I think that's one thing I'm learning is that I put so much pressure on myself and it's not helpful when there's already enough pressure out there put on me by everyone else and the world as it is constructed currently in this, you know, world of that we live in where we have to go to work and we have families and we have all these things like there's enough out there. We can be kind to ourselves. Anyway, oh my gosh, I just got a notification from Be Real randomly. Are you guys on that app? Um, I just started it and my in the last two days have been really fun but I just I love that idea of just like capture where you are right now that's it it's kind of cool to see that side of people if you guys are on be real you can I think you can find me on there um I don't know how like if I'm gonna be you know like adding everyone and everyone anyone and everyone but like if you haven't done that with your friends I highly encourage that you do but if you find me on there would love to would love to see it uh yeah this iced coffee is absolutely divine and uh yeah get this it's 11 11. I just picked my phone back up so I could do my little yoga moves and it, it's 11 11. I think it's a sign. days 
this to really like sink in to being here. And now that I am, I'm just like, ooh, freewheeling nature girl. <sighs> so whatever that looks like for you, if there's a way that you can create space for yourself and not put so much pressure and expectations on yourself, I invite you to think about that today. But um, I'm just gonna do some journaling and some painting and hit the road. And duh, you're gonna come with me.